Hey there, welcome to our new video guide for adding new products in OpenCart 3. In today's video, we'll show you how to create a product and how to go through all the tabs you need to use along the way. Let's start by going to the admin panel. Click on Catalog and then Products. This opens the entire product list in your OpenCart site. To create a new product, Click on the Add New button at the top right corner. You will now see all the product fields and tabs. Let's start from the first tab. It's called General. This is where you configure the general information of your product. For our tutorial, we will create a new iPhone for our store. So, in the product name field, we enter iPhone 7. The description is where you have to enter all the product information you have. A revolutionary new device that brings the most premium mobile features to your fingertips. New camera, better screen and a much faster processor. Ok, we're done here. Let's move on to the meta tag title. The title tag is used for the title appearing in your browser tab, as well as the one in the search engine results. In this case, we'll stick with iPhone 7. Next is the meta tag description. This is the short description that appears in the Google snippet once the product appears in the search engine results. It's important to place a few keywords that are relevant to the item. In our case, We'll write something like The iPhone is available. Purchase the most desired smartphone now. The meta tag keywords are for all the related words and phrases you can find regarding your product. After a quick consultation with the Google AdWords Keyword Planner, the most relevant keywords to the iPhone are Apple iPhone, iPhone, iPhone price, iPhones for sale, and iPhone deals. Remember to separate them with commas. Finally, we have the product tags. Here we can write iPhone, Apple, Smartphone, iOS and so on. Remember that the tags must also be separated by a comma. Ok, we're done here. Let's move to the next tab. Data. This is where you add the specifics about your product. To begin, we have to select the exact model of the product we are selling. Let's enter iPhone 7. This will appear in the product code field in your storefront. Below the model, you have all the fields for unique product identifiers such as the stock keeping unit. They are used to define the product you are selling on the global marketplace. Mind that they're not mandatory for creating your product page. Let's move on. Next is the location field. This is used for internal reference by OpenCart administrators and is not visible for customers. It's mainly used by additional extensions. It lets you enter the location of a warehouse or other storage facility where the product is being kept. For now, we'll leave this empty. The price field is obvious. Enter the price of your item. Just don't forget the decimal point. Our iPhone 7 will cost 499.98. Remember that this is the price excluding tax. The tax class lets you define whether you're creating a regular product, which falls under taxable goods, or a downloadable product. The next field lets you input the quantity of products you have for sale. For example, let's enter 50. That means we have 50 iPhone 7s in stock. With the minimum quantity field, you can force a minimum quantity of products that must be ordered. For instance, if we want to sell a minimum of 2 iPhones per order, we'll enter 2. Next, you can choose whether to subtract stock when a purchase is made or not. This means that choosing no 
will not decrease your stock levels if an item is purchased. We will leave this at yes. The out of stock status can also be configured from here. There are four default options. In stock, out of stock, pre-order and two to three days. You can add your custom stock statuses as well. Next, does the item require shipping? Yes or no question. In our case, it's a yes. Now, if the product is not launched yet, you can add its launch date. If the date is in the future, the product will not be visible on the storefront until the date comes. Now, for the dimensions and weight. These fields are optional and we'll leave them empty. They are usually used for calculating the delivery costs for some shipping methods. And finally, enable or disable the product status and give it a sort order number that will determine its position in the product list as well as the storefront when the default sorting is applied. Ok, moving on to the next tab. Links. First field is called Manufacturer. The manufacturers are added beforehand from their respective fields in your catalog. In our case, the manufacturer is Apple. Next, set which categories the product should be assigned to. For us, this is the default phones and PDAs category. The field below allows you to add filters to your product so it can be found easily by customers. Let's add some filters about the memory of the smartphone. We previously set a few filters and we'll assign them now. 32, 128 and 256 gigabytes of memory. You can see how to set up product filters in OpenCart by checking out this video tutorial. After the filters are set up, you can assign the product to be available in multiple stores in case you have more than one open cart shop. Check our multi-store tutorial for more information. Below that, you can select files that can be downloaded by customers. This is not mandatory and is usually used when you're configuring a downloadable product. Last, you have the field to add related products. Make sure they are as relevant as possible to the product you are selling. In our case with the iPhone, we can probably add an iPod. Let's go to the next tab. Attribute. Attributes are used to include additional product specifications to your product page. They are also created from another place in the admin panel and you can see our attributes tutorial right here. To add an attribute, click on the plus icon and begin typing the attribute name in the field to the left. It should appear in the drop-down automatically. We will use the clock speed for our example. After we select it, we will type the clock speed of the iPhone 7 processor, which is 2.34 GHz. Click Save and continue to the Option tab. Options are used to create different product variants so customers can select the one they want to purchase. To see how the options are created, check out this video tutorial. For our product, we'll select checkbox so we can use this type of option to add different colors for the iPhone. Black, silver and red. Each option can have a different availability which should be written in the quantity field of the option. For instance, all of our options will have a quantity of 15. Remember that the option quantity should add up to the general quantity of your product. This means that whenever a purchase is made and the option quantity decreases, this will also decrease the general product quantity. Next, choose whether the options will have the subtract stock function enabled or disabled. For the price, you should determine the cost of the different options. 
The black version is the standard one, so we'll leave it at zero. The silver will be $100 more and the red one will be $200 more. The other two fields let you add reward points that can be collected by customers for rewards. If the option has a different weight, enter it here. Different options have different weights that are calculated for the shipping costs. Finally, you can use the required field to select whether it will be mandatory for customers to choose an option in order to purchase a product. Now you can click save. Let's see what's behind the recurring tab. This is where you can assign a recurring profile. This means a profile with regular payments. They can vary by frequency and cycles. A subscription that will charge customers periodically. Next is the discount tab. This is convenient to use for quantity based discounts. For example, buy 5 of this product at a discounted price with a limited time frame. Let's check out the Special tab now. The difference between the Special and the Discount is that the Special is used to make promotions of the product and discount the price of the item. When a Special is added, a new price is shown for the product in the storefront. Time for the Image tab. Now, this is one of the most important tabs of the Product Creation section. It's where you upload the images for your product page. To upload an image, Click on the empty image, then the blue pencil button to choose the image you want to upload. A pop-up will appear where you have to click the blue upload button to select your image. You can upload multiple images at once. Just select the files you want to upload to your product page. There is one main image and additional images that will be located below it. When you're done with the images, click save and move on to the Reward Points tab. In this field, you set the price of the product in Reward Points. After that, you can define how many Reward Points each customer group gets after the purchase of this product. The next tab is new for OpenCart 3. It's called SEO. The keyword lets you define the SEO URL for the product. For our example, We'll just write iPhone hyphen 7. Remember, it should have a hyphen instead of a space. Click save and move on to the final tab. This tab allows you to overwrite a different layout to the product page you're currently editing. For instance, if you want the iPhone page to use the account layout, we can select it from the layout override option and click save. Let's view the product we just created in the storefront. We select the category that the product was assigned to and open it. Looking good. Let's explain what's what. First, the product name. Below it, we see the manufacturer, model and out of stock status. Then there's the price and that's with tax included. Below the main number, you see the original price we entered while creating the product. To the left, we can see the main image. Below it, you have your description and the attributes. Moving back to the right, you can see the color options we assigned. Tax is also added to their prices. If we scroll down a bit, you'll notice the related product we assigned. Below that, you can see the product tags. And finally, this is where you can see the meta tag title. So this is how to create products in OpenCart 3. Please like the video if you found it useful, subscribe to our channel for more OpenCart 3 tutorials and most of all, thanks for watching.